Hello there, and welcome to the House of Dog. Uh, today we're gonna play a quick game before the random turn turn, turn tournament. Um, I some people have requested that I record a Fremen game, so I'm going to do that. I usually go with Romalo and Silgar for counselors. I think Jamis is also really really good, and Shimum is kind of a hit or miss depending on your spawn. Because if you don't have enough three, four binned provinces, you're kind of just fucked. <clears throat> so I tend to go for Silgar and Romalo because that's the most consistent um, combo, honestly. I think Stilgar is kind of overrated right now. Still pretty damn good because of the early eco boost. Uh, unless you don't get Solari and Knowledge uh, Sieges, in which case, yeah, good luck, I guess. But yeah, let's see what kind of Sieges we get there. Uh, there you go, Knowledge, Spice, that's not bad. Blast Creed is not awful. Uh, pure Blast Creed, okay, that's, that's bad. Okay, there we go, one Solari Siege, that's good. We want at least one. That will help uh, fix our early economy a bit, at the very least. Alright, uh, we get a third warrior, and then we don't produce many troops for a while, I think. Uh, generally, what I like to do with Fremen is be hella greedy. Um, most people fear an early engagement with Fremen, for obvious reasons. So you can make use of that by simply rushing most of your green tech out as, as soon as possible. And only defending with 40 CP for a while. Especially if you run Shani, I think that's a very potent... Um, Put in play style, at least I've, I've found so far. Um, let's see, we're gonna get six water from here, so we should get another alliance, uh, or not alliance, another trade going. I think I'm going to go for spice purely because there is a chance. Oh, yeah, and I also like to do an early guy here because. If we find an early fuel cell the region, then we definitely want to capitalize on it. Basically, if if I, I I like to use this math as a as a as an example for why it's really really good to go for fuel cells as fremen. But basically, chome thirty percent chome gives you fifteen percent damage, right? Army damage. Well, one fuel cell gives a third of that. So one fuel cell region for Fremen is the equivalent of 10% chome. That is nuts. That is extremely good. And building up your um, building up your military is going to be essential if you want to stay, stay competitive in the late game as Fremen. Because generally, the I think the general agreement, although I think that's kind of a wrong take for the most part, um, is that Fremen have an insane early and mid game army, which is true, but they kind of sputter out by late game. I disagree with this. I think they are extremely good in the late game as well, especially against certain factions. The main problem for Fremen right now in this meta is that they lose their Atreides. There's no, no other like that you can't do anything about it you're just going to lose to atreides having to fight like 10 12 armor opponents you just cannot do that as fremen so that's why that's why um they are i think a bit underrated in the late game because late game atreides armies are just gonna wipe the floor with you and most people, like, Atreides is right now the, the strongest faction and also one of the easiest factions to play. So yeah, not ideal, to say the least. Alright, this is good. 
this is a good uh, good few regions for us actually. A lot of trades here, Intel, building, Intel and data brokers. So, mm, both are really good. I think we want to expand this way so that we can just grab this shield wall region. Shield wall is, is one of the weak, you know, like middling uh, regions in my opinion. It's not especially good, but for Fremen, it, it gets its value. This is kind of an additive value, right? Because buildings cost a lot of upkeep, and Fremen have a really bad eco. So you kind of want to have ways to reduce uh, your econo e economic load, <clears throat> and and having a shield wall is, is one of those ways. It's really good. Let's grab that. Uh, Fremen, unlike other factions, can grab these ruined POIs and gain authority from them. So you kind of want to prioritize grabbing these. See, we want more manpower, of course. Uh, yes, very good. We'll have our double skirms real fast. Honestly, probably might be better to build a harvesting caravan right now because of our um, because our eco is the best taking nose dive due to building all, all these expensive. Um, Expensive buildings, but it's fine. What does Viet command? I think, Your at least, I think it's fine. We can delay it a bit, and we're gonna build another manpower uh, building anyway. So that's gonna be good no matter what. map looks decent for us. I think we want to get White Rift next. Yeah. Seems to have uh, special resources, but well, strategic resource as well. Which makes it even better. Yeah, Rare Minerals is really good. Also Five Wind, really good region for us to take. Maybe even would have been better than uh, Shield Wall, but... I don't know. We didn't see the third. Well, I didn't see the, the the third POI there, so that's what I made my decision on. Uh, we're not doing too well on class screen, but we're about to, so might as well build a third building here. Uh, let's do maintenance center, I think. Hmm. Well, all right. We do want the early cash. Uh, these random smuggler bounties always come up. When I'm playing this game, funnily enough. Usually I think the way it works, by the way, is that it, it chooses a faction at random. Oh. Wow, okay, interesting. So our Conan is, is really not, oh my fucking God. I, I love all that side, don't you? Our Conan is really unhappy with us from the jump. That's interesting. Are they afraid of us, I guess? You really don't want, because I think easily Fremen benefit most from uh, from the extra authority. So yeah, interesting. Didn't expect that. I don't think anybody expected that in fact. Let's take this. Uh, we'll want the plus grade from here. Uh, do we want that? I think we do. I think we do want the extra extra ornithopter, especially because we only are getting our fourth now, which is kind of a mistake by me, but also, like, as you can see, our upkeep is already in the pits, so. P 
hits of goddamn hell, I think it might be best to go for early from and solidarity so that we can ally our Solari Solari brothers. Also taking this next is gonna be essential. I'm probably taking this fuel cell region. And actually taking more Plascree because we're gonna struggle on Plascree otherwise. This is good. Okay, this is gonna help our economy immensely. Uh, hmm. We get Intel, so we want a monitoring station. We will probably want a. Let's just grab this real quick. Actually, no. Might come in handy later on when I miss attacks because I usually do on Fremen. Fremen is the only one that I, I, I'm consistent on missing taxes, so. You just have to pay attention to that. Alright, how are we doing? Outpost Logistics almost finished. Yeah, are con okay, are they are they messing gunners? No. That's good news, because if they were, it would be an indication that they are going to try and do an early base rush, which I'm not especially prepared for right now. We're gonna fortify this position here in the, the shield wall. It seems like they're not interested in engaging us just yet. So that's good. We probably don't know if we have the tech to stealth our troops yet in our own territory. So they don't know our numbers. Kind of uh, lore accurate, I guess. Mm, yeah, I think with that knowledge that Harkana is already like mass massing their army. I think I will go for the fuel cell instead of uh, White Rift right now. We'll be able to get it soon enough, and I'd rather wait for Wonders of the Desert to finish first. Alright, let's try and grab this then. Mm, I'm trying to figure out a way to. A bit more cash. And, oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one. There we go. And then this one. Uh, I'm trying to grab a bit more cash so that we can take that extra authority away from uh, our condom since they took away our extra authority from the lens round. Doing a bit of village micro, just the usual. For the time being, I think I'm going to put down a monitoring station just so that uh, we get the plus 10 Solari. <laughs> yeah, take it. Yes, let's get a third spice as well. We're probably going to go and uh, raid this one. There's no Atreides player to punish us for it, really. And it means we get to keep using it while nobody else can take it for a bit longer. I could try and make a play for this deep desert, but honestly, if, if the spawn just doesn't give one to you for free, I don't think it's worth trying. I just, I just don't think it's simply not feasible for the most part. Anyway, let's go grab that spice fill. Keep producing more men. Or, well, I guess, in this case, skirms are female, so I guess from women. Four units for our military. Mm, okay. They take that, that's gonna be bold to say the least. I am going to punish it if they do. And they seem seem like they will. Yep. The desert will surprise you. Oh, yes. Let's take this. And we will definitely wanna punish that. 
as soon as possible. Our armies are now evenly matched with these two skirmishers coming up. Which means I win. Uh, nice. Especially because I have an extra 10% uh, military power already from these fuel regions. Yeah, the thing is the militia. The militia will tip the balance there, but we don't need to fight the militia immediately. We can just fight their army first. Here, I think we're going to go for a Lensrad examination because Harkonnen seems to be struggling with gaining any Lensrad, and we don't really care if Ikaz or Carino rush it. Interesting. Ikaz wants to be immune to that. that I think that's, that's the wrong decision, especially if you're running uh, Ipo, which I think they are. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to support that to weaken Harkonnen, hopefully. Oof. He has a 10% charm already, huh? We will help if we can. That's interesting. That means they have an insane spawn, probably. So late game, we're, we're going to be struggling against e most likely. Ugh, the fuel cell region is so, such a bad place for us. Honestly, I think I would prefer if this was a fuel cell region instead of a rare mineral region. As insane as that sounds. Done. And this is an interesting, uh, interesting question. But I, I, I hear that most people usually go for an early admin hall here, and I think that's interesting. So let's try it. And eventually they, they delete it and then rebuild red um, with the bazaar. Which I think is, is probably the right way to do it, now that I think about it, for longer than a second. Um, yeah, makes sense to me, honestly. Yeah, they know that that's a bad spot to take. I might take this just so that I can get the double double knowledge because we really do want that. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That's really good for us. All right. I guess we're going full greed, building that admin uh, admin building as well. I don't want her errors of Arrakis. So fortunately. Uh, we're not going to get a deep desert. And the village quirks don't matter as much for us generally. Like we could get 10 more solar for 10 more solari. I don't think that's a good trade. But. Oh, we didn't finish wonders, huh? Mm. Let's save this instead. Keeping it plus 30 authority is, I think, going to be neat. So I'd rather, rather do that. Also, we should be building up our army more. That's on me. Mm, probably also want to increase our spice income in the spot where it's most comfortable for us to defend. Alright, uh, I mean, I'd love to uh, double cap that, but I, I don't see it happening. Not a monitoring station so we can get the bonus intel. Uh, let's start using that intel now. Yes, please. This is going to be great for us as well. And uh, yeah, spice 
Supply stacks, these are gonna be shit for us. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. How long are we? Okay. By the time we actually cap, we probably are gonna finish it. So that's good. Nobody has taken this so far. Interesting. I think we'll want to play this game rather defensively. Not just because of the usual um, usual getting targeted in the in the game because it's me playing Fremen. But also because I think all of these armies are kind of dangerous to fight for us. Like I, I'd love if there was a smuggler's army. Both Ikaz and Corino are, are kind of dependent of how well we position. And then Harkonnen is early mid game, very, very powerful. I think if, if there is a faction that falls off late game, it's Harkonnen. I know it's a really like burning hot take, but I think they have the hardest time keeping up with other factions. Uh, wow, Fremen basically just have to take fuel cell regions to keep in the game. And I think we'll, we will angle for that. Um, although we're going to have to con contest both from Corino, which is not ideal, to say the least. But I think we can take one of them and the Karina won't be too upset. Probably this one would be easier to take here. Um, but much harder for us to defend because we'd have to use a thumper every time. Decisions, decisions. We'll see. For now, let's just save this spice region. We want to get to 10k as fast as possible. Obviously. Uh, yes, this is what we want next. We also want to start um, taking ev almost every single one of these. As soon as I figure out why I'm uh, missing so much water, but I don't seem to be missing it anymore, so. Alright, which ones do we want first? Definitely this one. Definitely this one. Definitely this one. And the last one we'll wait on. Hmm. I mean, there's not uh, that much point for us to vote here. They're not gonna affect anything, really. Getting 10.4 from this is pretty good. Uh, I wonder why that is. Interesting. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Switching Guild I think is the least useful information uh, group for us. But, yeah. Here we're going to take our manpower building, which should always be the first one you build after admin holes, I guess. It's just really, really powerful, everything together. With everything. Oh, okay, I know why, because we, we got uh, one of the best, and that does give a plus 20% uh, production. This is going to be a region where we'd love to have investment offices. But I think those are going to have to wait. We have to get these immediately because our eco is, depends on them, basically. Getting the bazaar is, is probably the most important building, partly because it allows us to have five red. So we can have all the bonuses from uh, red districts. 
and partly because it gives us just flat solar for uh, uh, light sieges and water, which is also very good. Yeah, let's build Chome so that we have an income. I think we want this next. I'd, I'd, I'd so much rather would have this, honestly. I don't think it's going to work out though. Let's reinforce this place as well. Since we are at command point limit now. There we go, we got all the water we need to finish allying every siege. There we go. Or at least working on every siege. Uh, and we are going to put down one of these here. Mm. I, th I think I want more manpower right now. Listening. Doesn't seem like I need it, I don't think, but we do want it. One of fourth spies for that one. I think at least. Mm. The great volcano spawn is, is unfortunate for us. If Carino doesn't become like target number one uh, through the mid game, <clears throat> we're never gonna get it. And uh, I suspect we are going to become target number one sooner rather than later. I just really don't like a strong Fremen faction in the game, and I understand why. Getting constantly raided is not ideal. I am tempted, I, I must admit. Getting all these monitoring stations is also very good because we are we have very poor assassination defense otherwise. Having a large amount of territories is is usually worse for trying to uh, to defend yourself against assassinations. I know this might be kind of a no-brainer for most people, but it's important to know still. I do want to get our red buildings now. We're almost at 10k, that's very good. I think definitely we want this next. We're gonna have to fight for it probably, but I think it's worth it. Alright, this is gonna completely tank our economy, but we are preparing to fight now. Um, and this is also going to uh, help us a bit in keeping our economy afloat. Uh, oh, there we go. Chowne it is. Chowne we don't care about. We don't have the map for it, honestly. In certain maps, if you spawn, like if you get a god spawn, I think Fremen can contest okay. Chum. But this is not one of those, for sure. So we'll take what we can get. Uh, Tarkana with the Imperial Base in half. I guess only, uh, the only worse option would be Karina there. I fucking hate that. Uh, 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 no listening post. No, I don't think so. Oof, what the hell happened? Finished. We might not be able to kind of keep this one up for now. Yeah. I guess. Uh, no. 
there, yes. Alright. Start filling up our militia. Now this is also one of the vulnerable spot here, and this is definitely going to be constant contested as the game goes on. Um, a random raiding party. We don't care actually. They don't care about this. They might put. Uh, put spy stacks on us, just because we are in such a strong position, it seems to them like, even though it is not true. But in turn, we're going to push this, maybe they forget to download it. And that will also help us with containing the Chom Master. Baron Harkonnen. Yeah, there it is. Not as surprising. I guess we start raiding. And this is partly why I think the the raiding quirk that gives you more money per villages raided is, is good on Fremen because sometimes you just have to go for a raid eco. Oh, he was gonna fire us there for it, huh? Um, definitely don't wanna raid this fuel cell region in the off chance that we might be able to take it. Uh, this will help with our haggard fucking eco. This will also help with this. And now we're out of supply, basically. Is not ideal to say the least. Listening. But we're going to raid the middle here and then probably just return belongs to, the Fremen. to our lands for the time being. This path is dry. If we had more sub. Oh, never we mind. I it. think one of our wind traps just finished. I think I'd rather contest that uh, outer fuel cell region right now. If I have to contest something, so. So be it. And we want missile turret here as well. Missile turrets are, I think, also an overrated thing right now. People think they do absorbing amounts of damage for some reason. I think it's not true, simply. Um, it is mostly used as a deterrent. Like, if you, you don't want somebody to attack you from a certain angle, you put down a... You put down a missile turret and, and that kind of covers the angle for you. But it is not by any means like it's it's not gonna protect you, your one certain that, that one specific region forever. Getting uh, what's it called the border defense and building two of those can be viable, but it's also extremely expensive. And generally, I don't think worth it. We're gonna raid this now to resupply and then take this fuel cell region here. And then I guess we pray. We want shared transcendents because we are rushing a few fuel cell regions, and it doesn't seem like a lot of solar. Solari, uh, and the, the one plus one research doesn't seem like a lot, but it does help immensely as the game goes on. I think I'm just gonna build this here now. 
because I think this is this is where our maintenance station is. Yeah, helping us out quite a bit. Should put one here, then, and then here as well. We're gonna finish up with a monitoring station, your favorite building. It is just honestly a good building for Fremen. It's cheap, doesn't have upkeep, fills out a slot if you need it for uh, quirks. And again, it makes you detect assassinations faster, so it's just a pure win. Taking this would be greedy. I think we want Karina to take that, and we want this to be our borders. We're never going to be able to take this. It's inside the Imperial base, unless they do something stupid and anger the entire lobby against themselves. That's just not going to happen. Let's figure out where we're going next. Hard work when you have a mm. of the guild. We're ready. I'll take it. This will never take, I think. We might Ah, no, it's adjacent. He's gonna be pissed if we do take that. And we don't wanna anger. We don't wanna get a blood feud with the Emperor. And that's how you get blood feuds with the Emperor. Decoy mm, Thumper or EMP. I think for the time being, Decoy Thumper is better. We don't have artillery drones down just yet. Oh, they're gonna take that, aren't they? Run, but if I'm not, I don't think we have the army for it, honestly. Uh, nor the range to get there in time, but they're not taking that, that's good. Uh, where do we want to go in that case? Honestly, fuck it, let's just try and take this. So this reminds me, we probably uh, want to look into building more main base Babel buildings as soon as this goes away. Yeah, we're real fucking slow on this, I'm gonna be honest. This is not good. They might put Diplomatic Congress on us. They think that's good. But, um... It actually mostly benefits us because it gives us more influence generation for the time being. And we don't mind breaking breaking truces. Uh, because the plus 20% damage is, is mostly benefiting us. Uh, I think... Oh. Sure. Give me some money. I do want main base buildings real bad right now. Can do this kind of for a while. Let's see. Yep, this is good for us. Especially because we just showed up to take this. And the Emperor is not going to betray us now. chat I think this is the point where we kind of want to put this somewhere else so let's do that and then now that we actually have a uh, income we'll be able to just keep building we'll probably I guess we'll build a barracks next and then we build a bazaar actually no because a bazaar gives us more solari and more solari is what we want 
to get the next one faster and next one faster and next one faster. You get it. Okay, we'll keep it here. This might be a little risky. Who cares? I think we got this locked down. We're just gonna raid this village for now. This is gonna get lost sooner rather than later, but since they voted in that, uh, they voted in that uh, resolution, Diplomatic Congress for everybody, I'm just gonna go for it and, and run with it. I'm just gonna run with it as far as I can. Yeah, okay, I left off the good kills, that's not surprising. I kinda hate that mission, I'm surprised they didn't take it out with the uh, Vernius update. It's one of the more, more obnoxious ones. It's just too vulnerable for that, I think. Yeah, let's just, if we don't know what to build, let's just get some money. That seems like a good rule of thumb, huh? And this is where we'll build this, for sure. And now we can think about building uh, the military. The military factory now. There we go. Uh, we're gonna want more water. Although we'll get quite a bit from uh, finishing Bazaar here. Want to start building up some influence. Yeah, let's get our fir third uh, Fideki. I think... Uh, Fadekin you don't want to have too much of because they are surprisingly um, squishy for what they are. Like they're they're kind of a trooper type um, type uh, unit, but at the same time they are probably one of the least survivable troopers in the game i'm not entirely sure let's look at the might actually i think that might be squishier nope never mind <laughs> uh definitely has less or less hp than ours but i think that's because they they don't have uh many bonuses for it as we do all right and we'll want a uh, blue building here for the bonus. And then we'll put down a turret just in case. Alright, how are we doing, Hedge? We're kind of running away with it. That's not good. Kind of want to hit this, but we are approaching the, t the part of the game where we want to be very cautious about who we attack. Because making enemies for the rest of the game right now is not going to be beneficial to it for us in any way, shape, or form. I think we might. Yes. Okay. That's that's a good idea. Let's take this. Let's prepare to take this. I should say. Because it seems like Horkonnen is 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 angling for it. And this is way too close to our like core territories for us to leave it open. Alright, we'll finally are getting the uh, we're finally going to get the uh, let's just get this. I, I don't particularly like the, the altar. I don't think it's as good as it's supposed to be. Of course, it's one of the only anti-air options for Fremen, so it's good in that. But it's not as essential as rushing at your wraith or anything like that. Also, we want to 
start building up spice again because we are very comfortable with our eco right now i think uh yep let's build this so that we can get even more salary income and then we can build our barracks next finally and then finish off with the uh military academy we're about to get so this is why i usually rush green tech because it is benefiting us quite a bit right now like all the the stealth is incredible hiding your troops is is nuts um the, the lobby not being aware of of your actual powers from it is is, a, is i think one of their best features uh mm, and also very flavorful right like nobody knows how many friendly there actually are <laughs> could have been cited this but it's not that important i think kind of wanted to go through could have been cited this so that our income becomes or remains high but it's not that important i think we just sit on our laurels here Maybe sneak in send diplomats now. Not send diplomats. Yes, send diplomats. Sorry. We don't want to send the diplomats so that we can build the Al Ghaib temple. I think this is what it's called. Let's check. Never mind. That's fine. Another blue? Nope. Where's my other blue? No other. Oh, there it is. Uh, Al-Ghaib Temple, yes. Okay, now these guys, one of them is gonna go to the Lensrad so that we can build more influence and we want to start countering Telling. Yeah, uh, I wasn't paying attention to that. We're getting punished for it. It is what it is. We want to send out a skirm to grab that. Are they gonna take that? Good question. They actually, hmm, they are in an extremely vulnerable position with our hero right now. So I think we're going to do this. Because we don't want them to take that spice game. We'll and they are attacking our spice harvester, so... They clearly did not think this one through. They want to kill a Rabon here. Yeah, I suspected it was Rabon. <laughs> Most uh, Arcanum players run Rabon, I think. Nowadays. And now we run from the worm. We take it ourselves instead. Uh, yes, we do want that. So let us let's get this going. There we go. Free, free situation. Okay, they're going to attack us here now. That's fine. We are going to immediately retreat from this position. Fortify it just a little. Uh, make sure they have nowhere to run to. That Imperial base is just not ideal, I think, for them. It's basically a blood feud type. Uh, blood feud type. Uh, Imperial base. I'm not sure what they're doing there with it. Uh, we want one of these and we want a free thumper now. For sure. Uh, where's our worm? Okay. It's, our worm is a bit slow right now. Because we don't have a Idaya al Krab yet. Right. Let's just trick it down. Our Ramsham. 
real quick. Oh, let's see him. And run away, hopefully. Make them fight us on our own turf. If they want to fight. They don't seem to want to. So let's rebuild. I want another Fedek in. Uh, what did they kill? Another warrior. So they didn't kill any of our scrims. That's good. See, now we can build our Al Gaib temple, which we do want to. Mm. I mean, you sure man is good? Okay. Let's kill these guys first. Basically, the way a Ramsham works is that, or a Ramsham builds work, I should say, is that um, you, so your Sardaukar are going to be really powerful, right? Like, that's, that's the main thing. But, at the same time, you really, really need your supporting troops to provide the damage. So that you can trigger the 25% uh, 25% uh, execution rate. So if you manage to kill off... This is a friendly civilian, okay, we'll put her on counter in town. Uh, so if you kill the supporting units off, they cannot produce enough damage to execute your your army. So that's why I did what I did there. Yeah, a lot of people say that this is like a good thing to do, taking two bases next to each other, but then you'd want it like here, so that they overlap and they can protect each other. This is not ideal. This is not an ideal setup for uh, Karina. We're gonna buy some chum so that nobody's like getting away with it for free. Also, we forgot to put our rally point here, Lamau. And uh, yeah, fuck you, Mr. Emperor. We also will probably want to uh, put that on Great Volcano so that we weaken the uh, we can weaken their mechanical units. And we'll want to give up these two territories eventually. Because there's no way we can actually defend them. And and these these two are gonna be what win us the game if if we manage to win somehow for some eldritch magic. Don't think we can sneak anything on by here. Conan is probably trying to assassinate us now. That's good to know. So let's see where do we want to put our cells. First one here, probably. And then we'll uh, first one here, then. So we got uh, I don't know. All of these are bad. Actually, this is the best one. Do it here. Do it here. Now do it here. Do it here. And then do it here. Yeah. And then we can abandon these two, these two regions anytime. Ikes can get that. That's fine. As I said, we don't care about that region particularly. If they take it, it just means that Tarkhan has less targets. We're gonna abandon this immediately if, if the Harkon and uh, assassination pops up. 
But they might have just the taken the two assassins just to have them, honestly. Ah, they didn't even take it, huh? Interesting. I guess we could have snuck the, uh, the building cost by, but not, not uh, super important for us. Uh, there's nothing to build here. <clears throat> Do we want more water? Well, for the time being, sure. And then we'll eventually want to build a resource a research station, but for now the embassy will fine will do fine. Uh, let's say these these two regions. Yeah. We'll probably also want to take this at some point. This would be beautiful to take, but it's never going to happen. So might as well not even try. And waste resources doing it. We, we want to double cap this, yes we can. Fairly easily. Looking for our ground for troops that I might have forgotten about, but I don't think I see any. Did we rebuild the mill factory? We did, that's good. It's gonna be good for us. Letting Geekast take this is stupid. Uh, I don't know what Corino is doing. They definitely shouldn't let Ikaz take territory that is core to them, basically. And I think we're we're just gonna slow down for a bit. Not in Germany. How much did we build yet yeah, so far? That's a lot. That's beautiful. I don't think we need more right now, so. It's fine. Where did we. There you are. Hey. Please work. There you go. We kind of want to snipe that. Uh, Kind of want to snipe that renegade base there, and I think we will. Yeah, so I took care of that. We want to fill militia up everywhere. I think that's just good practice for everybody. And we're going to want more water. Um, this might be difficult. I do admit, <laughs> this might be difficult. Um, that's not good. That's especially bad, actually. Please, for the love of fucking God, stop at some point. I, I love that this is how we kind of gotta do you some person nowadays. You know what? Who the fuck cares? Just move. This is really annoying, but what can you do? Yeah, put this on the hard corner. They also like severely underestimated how much drama they need there. Knives. Let's push. We'll All right, that's enough. We don't want to get wormed. Trust me, I've I've been on the receiving end of that quite a lot. We trust you, Liet. Hmm. Research isn't gonna do much for us here. isn't exactly a good uh, furnace position either. This is better than nothing. It's just not a lot of upkeep, just a lot of water. 
we are fine on water, I think, right now. Oh, it's a free renegade base there. That's really good. Let's grab more scrams. Actually, we want an infiltrator. I probably should. Micro infiltrators better, but. I wasn't being diligent enough. We trust you, guys, can you stop, please, so that I can thumper? Mm, yeah, we can spend a thumper, it's fine. Watch me get punished for that. No, oh, that fucking took it while I wasn't paying attention, of course. Inside rebellion, this Shifra. We also want this, honestly. So, sure, whatever. We're barely not losing that, so let's have done it. Surprised that. Uh, we have military propaganda. Okay. We're not actually going to trigger the base yet because we want to get the. Uh, we want to get the scav team first. I'm buying some chum here is fine for us. We do have a bit of cash to throw around. So tax will eventually push us into the 20k territory, but for now we're fine. Okay, let's go. Probably, I, I don't think this is a good idea, but my greedy brain is telling me to also raid this village. You know, I think it's probably... I probably should have left those two villages as my Vencon, honestly, now that I think about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am a very small-brained person, so this is not that surprising. Tracks. Let's get a supply drop. Although we might, it might not seem like we need it, but if we uh, eventually will want to um, want to get. Uh, Retaining program and then the Chome. Uh, oh, never mind. If we want to get Chome integration and want to get the Chome branch, it's going to be useful. In fact, let's just do this. I think this is where I would take Aragorakis, usually. But I think this is fine for now. We're also not in the pits economically, we're making our spice taxes, which is for me a surprise. So I think we're fine. Losing this, 
not happy about it. Having this, very happy about it. We trust you, Liet. We'll probably want to move up here since there's no other direction these goddamn renegades can go for. It. And I don't want my uh, spacer parts reduced, income reduced. So we do what we must. The Emperor is feeling very funny today. Because they're gonna do nothing but blood feud us from here, so. We'll want to hit Thumper from here. Heal up first, though. That's not surprising, he's greeting hard there. Alright, I think that's everybody here left for the most part. Let's uh, stop moving. Go here, Chani. Kill their troops. Infiltrator. Hitting that, uh, hitting that artillery drone. Don't really care about losses here. We've got plenty of manpower. We want to kill a Ramsham. So we're going to target him down. Get these guys down, kill the RT drone, kill these guys, and then regroup. Keeping the Kronos here is a choice. I guess they don't care if they lose it too much. Now the chips start to fall down. Other people are going to become danger, uh, dangerous. Yeah, we can spend authority here. We don't mind losing too much authority here, honestly. Uh, we're gonna have enough for the late game, for the end game, I should say. We're seeing in 20k hegemony. Yeah, we don't care about the woods either. Just if this goes through, that's fine. It's gonna be pain for everybody but us. We did lose quite a few troops here due to the Imperial base. We trust you, Liet. But we can keep these this defense up for quite a while, especially if we get uh, Idai Alakrab. Mm, I guess we'll, we'll grab once Stalwart Alliance finishes. We'll queue up Arrow Arrakis. It's gonna be um, gonna be very late, but we'll be able to build it here to increase our hedge boost, our hedge gain. Just 
good for us, I'd say. Let's go warrior. Let's go down to Frederick and then just skirms. Don't learn for trade and skirms. Mm, I didn't check it, I guess. There we go. More warriors also do not hurt. This is becoming cheaper. Let's auto buy a few, a few bits. I think this village is gonna become important for us for the end game. This is easily just gonna take him by. Ikaz or Conan or whoever really. And let's take this one notch down. What does Viet command? I think after our troops finish building up we can we safely take feet. this. Even with the authority malice, we don't particularly care, the man game is quite far. Unless they just let Ikaz win on governor, which might happen. In fact it is likely to happen. But we'll see. We lose, we lose. Yeah, we're gonna have to produce. We're gonna have to produce um, Ikaz with the all, th all three of us. Especially as because I have some influence now as well. Two days, fuck my life. <sighs> there we go. Try and throw some of the heat we're taking off here. As usual, probably not going to work because honestly, people have rightfully realized that we are probably the threat here. But for now, this little infighting is going to be useful for us. I'm going to make our warriors as tanky as possible. I'm going to make the make our skirmishers do more damage against squish targets. 
squishy humanoid targets, and then devastating strikes will boost our boost our uh, how much passive I think is making <laughs> ground farting, huh? Not ideal. Interesting that nobody took this just yet. As I say that, Hark is <laughs> gearing up the time for taking it. Interesting. Alright, governor is up. I don't think we will we'll, we'll bank influence here, even though we have no chance of taking governor. Or keeping governor, I should say rather. Yeah, sure. Let us insights. All right. Yes, insight. <laughs> it just sounds like a different word, right? Like insight, insight. We're not gonna go for a cast. Yeah, I mean, if we're just gonna let Ikaz have that, then it's GG. Like, I'm, I'm not sure what it was the plan here for people. I was gonna be trying, I was gonna try and be a bit cheeky here, but it's never gonna work. I just wanted to cause some chaos so that we can maybe get away with more on hedge. we can do is try and liberate one of these. Do we have any? Yes. So this would get ramp. Seems like they don't have political art, which is good for us. we might be able to stop this but they might be just researching it now and then it doesn't matter I have no idea what the fuck Arcano is doing at this point I wish I knew Let's get this and then um, this, I guess. Do this. Do we have a die? Five more days. Fuck off. We'll avoid the sun. <sighs> it's like I, I'd love to say this came down to like experience the game or something but this is just straight up stupid this is just a throw sure this is really gonna help us now Yeah, 
are taking that village now. Let's just try, I guess, to uh, take this back. gonna cripple the most nothing really if I'm being fully honest not bad for a pile of junk yeah. every journey leads us to the desert let's just sure let's do this I guess I guess I'm losing uh, Keep this altar here. Uh, let's Wait. move our troops out a little. We must go now. Please, for the love of fucking God, now. move. We trust you, uh, Mistakes here. Let's Johnny Thumper. Thumper in. The uh, altar is dead, basically, but it did its work, which was be uh, just pull them out of position here. Yep, nothing for me to do here. Conan is doing fuck all, naturally. Johnny is gone for us, naturally. I guess we're taking this at least. It's not completely useless. Do we have a forward position to spawn in from? Yes. Get melee units because those are we our best faith. units right now. They'll die without honor. Okay, governor might show up. That's our only chance of stopping our this right here. So yeah, here's praying. Okay. If, if nobody votes here. Can we keep this up as well? I think we can let Harkonnen take that, and we're happy with taking this for now. Ikaz not taking political art was, uh, was stupid. Is it time to move? If I'm being honest, I think that was a bad move from them. I think we're gonna rally 
be fun something new. Worst case scenario, we thump her in again. But I guess the end game Listening. came faster than I expected. Is our home. Uh, we're gonna miss tax, of course, because fuck me. Somehow it got lost there. Okay. Well, I guess we can try and liberate things here. It's not gonna work, mind you, but. Yeah, at least try. Somebody's got a nuke. Arconan's got a nuke. Interesting. Always stay alert. Very interesting. Listening. Should have been sighted there because we really, really wanted the. Uh, Chawning back. Lead us to freedom. We trust you, Liet. Okay, that's a long way for those troops to go, but we'll the warriors can stay, I guess. So one of the warriors can stay, I guess. Fuck you, game. I, I fucking love this. They're gonna lose that entire army. I said, move there, stay there. Thank you. Okay, now. Uh, let's see if this triggers. Yes, good. Although not that good, but good enough. Let's get some warriors now. Keep spamming skirmishers. Okay, we got one more warrior to build. Uh, these today can need to go home. They're drunk. Um, maybe if we can spawn in here, we can do something. Oh, this one triggered for this. As well, interesting. We're ready to hunt the invaders. All right, we don't need to sit on it now. <laughs> yeah, two, two sieges triggering on that one that kind of sealed the day deal there. Okay, we don't need to rally there in that case. It's a bit too risky anyway. Um, can we produce enough spice? No, we should put it here. Here, yeah, that seems right. Liet. And we can rebuild Chani. Still don't have a research station. It's going to be about 1.5, 1.6 for us if we do build it. In terms of hedge boost. We also are not making any passive just yet. Because obviously, we don't necessarily we want to. Oh no! The altar should have been here for the... For the authority liberation. Oh well. How much iron steam we're making? Way more than we do. So we might want to reconsider this one. Way, 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 the problem is, way more than we can <laughs> make. Which is not good, decidedly. But we did liberate these two regions. Uh, 
going to have a bit of authority. Um, bank, once they become available again. Um, we're not going to do any shenanigans with governorship now. We're just going to let um, loss of rights go through and bank authority or bank influence for the next time uh, ECAS tries this. Because I suspect they will. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so late on the donkeys. Henry has not taught me well. This path is dry. To the time oh, being, I think we want to move as well. Jump. Centralize our troops. Um, God, this would be so nice to take, but that's not going to happen. Don't antagonize the Emperor still. going through is real bad for us right now so we're gonna vote against it they have to push loss of rights or we win so we don't care about that one That's not surprising, although we don't care. I uh, guess we're gonna try to sneak this through. We're going to oppose this fully, I think. And we'll see if they are going to let us get away with this. Because if they they do then Yeah, that's GG. Yeah, there you go. Well, we could have done some shenanigans there, but... Listening. We'll avoid the sun. Yeah, that would have been an easy dub for us. That was kind of stupid for me. Should have expected um, everybody to greed. Greed there. Because they are looking for their own uh, win cons right now still. We want to rage this, I think. Don't have a comfortable rally here, so I'm just gonna walk through <laughs> the Emperor's uh, lands here. Not ideal, obviously. Always stay alert. Mm. Let's start getting these mercenaries out now because we are approaching a fast end game. We used to freedom. Is it time to move? The land will move below us. These thankfully decap fairly close to each other, so yeah. timing uh, the taking of them is gonna be rather easy. Spice is coming up. I think we should just push for it. Honestly. But we need to be able to take both of these. And I need a hundred more authority for that. <laughs> Fuck my life. out, Johnny, move up here. Yes. 
take this finally. Um, let's get this, these guys next. Uh, armory refilled out, okay, good. We're sitting on so much cash. But our early game eco is so haggard. <laughs> I guess we trust in the heart of the cards now. Uh, where is it? Second blue building, please show up. Yep, there you are. Don't care about influence anymore. Research station coming down. Uh, it's not going to be enough. I think it's going to be enough, actually. Okay, yeah. I think we win this now. If nothing goes super wrong. you there. Listening. We trust you, Liet. Listening. We trust you, Liet. Arrakis belongs to the Fremen. Listening. This path is dry. Fun fact, Hotar, Hotar means uh So they can stand. Listening. That's fine. Willing. This path is dry. We're gonna have We're to escape going. somehow. With I don't think we Shia can. All right. We're, going. We're gonna have to stop building the uh, research center. And Our save as much going. as we can here. Basically what I was saying, what Fox is referring to here, was the only way for uh, for Fremen to win on, on Governor is if they first upvote somebody else and then... Uh, and then they take a... Uh, And then they t they let everybody spend their influence on the first vote um, to get voted into governor. Well, there it is again. That's just lovely. Okay. Well, I'll be decided. I don't win. That's fine. That's not news. It's pretty par for the course for us, honestly. We're gonna try and block uh, ECAS here. Everybody uses 
sleep, it seems. Or while the Emperor wants to try and throw a uh, destruction artifacts out, I'm pretty sure. Although we'll he's gonna eat that. It's not a good idea right now. enough for us. We're going to want to do this. Thumper in. I said thumber fucking in. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he wins. Nothing we can do about it now. Love it. He's gonna win from now. From now, from now. Especially if Ikes does not end up helping us here. Every journey leads us to the desert. We'll take them by surprise. Let's try and get our scrims out of here. We'll bring our faith to a new haven. May they have no shame to hide. On the lookout. There. Sorry, going no verbal while trying to pay attention here. I'm not gonna get a ramshell, I don't think. And the goddamn rebels are also not doing what they should be doing here. And uh, liberating that. Yeah, this is so obvious that it was painful, but of course, because everybody is scared shitless and, name, and the, re the name recognition is applied, I lose the game and Karina wins for free. Um, this was kind of a nuts game in that Ika should never have gotten governor in the first place. I screwed up my governor play there i should have voted against uh loss of rights so that i can just win on gov in nine days that wasn't me that was my mistake that was the only way i could have won this game i think um again not having that 30 authority here there was was also just painful um if i get that i think that also probably pushes me to win um, I don't think there was other big mistakes from me. Harkonnen's army, I think, was non-existent. I don't know why. Probably ran into the usual manpower issues. Um, Ikez deciding that Emperor should have mid was also just insane. They should have uh, tried to at least... Um, try to at least block that, but that does come down to experience. That is, um, that was, that was, uh, that was obviously the problem there. But anyway, good game otherwise. I think um, everybody was fairly new other than me in the lobby, so naturally they're gonna try and get together to do, to beat the be the biggest threat um, so yeah good game all around interesting end game kind of uh, clown fiesta but it is what it is GG